Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's currently like 7 a.m. and I just woke up. I don't actually have class this morning, so I don't have to like log on and do any online classes, but I do have homework and stuff today. So I'm not particularly in a huge rush to get started, but I'm gonna make some coffee and just work on some stuff on my computer. And I like to watch the news for a little bit in the morning just because that's always been my morning routine even before this whole like coronavirus thing started. So that's like my little dose of media for the day and then I'm done. I don't want to look at it anymore because honestly stresses me out. So I just like to see like the updates in like my area um, in terms of the virus and that way I'm like in the know. Gonna make a Pike Place. I've been having Pike Place like every day. So I normally will put a raw sugar in it, but I'm gonna use hazelnut creamer and it sweetens it for me. Here's the hazelnut creamer I'm gonna use. I have to be like really light with this because it's super, super sweet. So I just put a tiny drop in. I have a super ripe banana. So I think I'm gonna make like protein pancakes or something later on this morning because I don't wanna just waste this, but it's definitely way too ripe to just eat by itself or like use as a topping. So I might mash it up and make protein pancakes. And if I do that, I'll show you guys how I do it. I've only ever done it one time and it was a long time ago. So I'm kind of excited to try it again. That first sip, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of what my morning routines have looked like since I started doing online classes and not having to like go to campus four days a week. Here it is. Here it is. I snuggle my dog while I drink my coffee. And then Stetson's over there. I can't forget about Stetson. <laughs> it's a few hours later and I put some makeup on and got dressed, kind of. I'm literally just wearing an oversized t-shirt and some leggings. My stay at home life now, I guess I just like don't need to get dressed. But I think I'm gonna make some protein pancakes, like I said I was, and I'll show you guys how I do it. So you just need one really ripe banana because you want it to be sweet. I mean, I guess you could use one that wasn't ripe, but always use a really ripe one. And then you're gonna mash it up with your fork. Once you have it mashed up, it should look like this, just kind of like a paste with some chunks in it. And then we're gonna add half a scoop of protein. You don't have to use the confetti cake protein. You could use like vanilla protein or something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna add that. Then I'm also gonna add one egg. And then just whisk this all together. Gonna add a little drop of almond milk, just a tiny bit, you don't wanna do too much. So I just put my pan on medium high heat and I just put a scoop of this organic butter by Horizon. I'm just gonna let this kinda coat the pan and then I'll start cooking them just like regular pancakes. They're a little bit lumpy when you do the protein pancakes, especially because I'm doing like a really simplified version without like separating the egg yolks and everything, but they still turn out really, really good. And I like to add raspberries on top and I'll show you guys. Here is the final product of the protein pancakes. I just put some raspberries on top and then drizzled it with maple syrup. So bomb and I'm going to eat both of these. I'm taking a little break after eating breakfast and I decided to let Trooper on the couch. And whenever we let him on the couch, we just like lay a sheet down so I have him like wrapped up in it. <laughs> and he looks like a little like baby with <laughs> it looks like a bonnet. <laughs> and I'm dying. It's like a fitted sheet. And then I have my barefoot dreams blanket that he's like completely wrapped up in. <laughs> and we're just snuggling. <laughs> Finally got up, I'm about to hop on a conference call with my manager and a potential brand that I'm gonna be working with. And then after that, I need to get started with some schoolwork. Chad is on his way home from work. He had like hazmat training today, so he got home a little bit later than he normally does. I guess he ended up stopping at Walmart to get a couple things for the house and I convinced him to buy me more peeps because I have been really enjoying those. I don't need them, but now that I'm like quarantining, I just have the desire to eat unhealthy food. So I know I'm gonna eat those later. And I thought I would make a little green smoothie because 
I want some greens. I feel like I need some greens. I'm gonna make my usual green smoothie. Some pineapple chunks. I'm just gonna use the rest of those. Some mango. A coconut Greek yogurt. A bunch of greens. so good and i'm getting like a whole serving of spinach and i need that right now so i'm gonna drink the smoothie and I'm gonna work on my chapter eight homework for chemistry. Whenever I'm working on my chem homework, I just like to pull up my chemistry like digital notebook. I always get asked what note taking app I use and I always just use Good Notes. Um, and this is Good Notes 5, so it is the paid version. Um, but honestly, I think you can use the free version because after I bought the paid version, I didn't really even notice that many upgrades. So I feel like you could just get away with using the free version, but that's the one I use and um, I just like to open up a new page and I write whatever homework section that I'm working on at the top and if I have any problems I need to like solve um, I'll do it on my iPad so that I have it as reference and then um, yeah so got my calculator and I have some lo-fi cafe beats notification from my manager about the sponsored video that I filmed like two days ago I'm waiting on approval to make that video go live and I wanted to tell you guys like a little bit about the behind the scenes because I feel like before I started making YouTube videos and stuff I didn't really know how this worked um, and I always get questions about it so I'm like you know let me share with you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes so basically you send in your content for approval and when the brain gets back to you they'll either say like yes I like your video you can make it go live or they'll have like some suggestions of changes that you might need to make and they did come back and say that I had like a couple of minor adjustments so I have to refilm one small part and then do an edit adjustment and then I'll be able to send them back to them for approval and so that's what I'm about to do right now. It's kind of like how YouTube work is. So I'm going to refilm that one little segment and get that up. But I can't show it to you guys yet because obviously the video is not up yet. We're cooking dinner. And by we're, I mean Chad is cooking dinner as per usual. <laughs> Why am I horrible? <laughs> I used to cook dinner for Chad all the time. And then I made the decision to go back to school. And then every time when it's dinner time, I'm in my office just studying and doing homework. Anyway, we're making some butternut squash ravioli. If you've never had this, highly recommend it. So freaking good. Um, we found these at Publix. I brought my computer out here so that I can do my homework while Chad is cooking dinner so I can hang out with him while I'm doing this. But I'm almost done with this part. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm almost halfway. Chad poured me a glass of wine. I don't know what it, the stain is on my shirt, honestly. I don't know where that came from. So we're just gonna ignore that. Here is the final product. We have um, butternut squash ravioli with some parmesan cheese and scallions on top and then this is like roasted red pepper Butter, cream cheese, sour cream, veggie stock It's like a bunch of things. It's so good. Chad and I are laying here playing some Super Mario Brothers and Just chilling. This is a life the quarantine life mm -hmm. 